Ian, through to the fifth round of the competition, what did you make of it? Um, I thought we were good first half. I thought we conceded early, which is seems to be a bit too often. We're going one 0 behind at the moment. I don't really like that as a habit. But after after that, I thought we were we were good in the first half. I thought we created a lot of chances. Thought the goal we scored is absolutely fantastic goal. Really, really good goal. Um, second half, I thought we we got a little bit sloppy. I thought we played a bit too much to feet. Um, there was no real tempo in the game. Didn't feel like an urgent game kind of felt like a trophy game rather than a league game and I wanted us to have a bit more intensity but I thought um, you know we changed the wing backs to get a bit more energy in there uh, we started to come to life a little bit I'm really happy for Eli with his two goals yeah I was gonna say for, for Eli obviously time on the pitch has, has been few and far between for him so far this season to get a couple of goals like that how much does it mean to him and the group yeah and I just said it in there that this is what it's about really it's not about we have the 11 starting and we've had a lot of players that have played a lot of minutes guys like Carl Wooten and Ruben and Matty Palmer that sat off today um, this was an opportunity for some of those other guys that I see every day working so hard to get some minutes on the pitch and it also gives us an insight into what they're going to be able to offer us as the season goes on because we need to, to learn about that as well because we don't have reserve games 23s games B team games so the the sometimes minutes on the pitch when we can get it for players is, is valuable and I think today we saw certainly Eli what he can offer us when he's um, when he when he's close to his best and, and he's not had a lot of minutes but I thought he was very good today um, real handful for them and, and well deserved his two goals he was a handful against Wrexham in the, in the mm. second half as well and you never know quite what he's going to do I always I sometimes think he doesn't know what he's, he's quite mm. going to do as well but where does this leave him in in a the pecking order as far as the shake-up of if you need something a little bit different off the bench in a league game. Yeah, he gives us that. I mean, you see, when he's when he's running towards their goal, when he's uh, using his, his body and his physicality, he's very difficult to play against. And I think, of course, Woods and Ruben have been excellent. And we know that. They've played a lot of games. But um, we need to have other options coming in. Like you say, great against Wrexham. And today, I think he's he's been improving and growing in the training sessions. So we've seen that. And, and I think... Today, I wasn't surprised that he did well. I thought he'd come in and do well today um, and, and happy that he did. As a game you mentioned, like, it didn't have a, a huge amount of intensity at times. Are these games kind of difficult in that way to prepare for? You make six changes as well and I guess that can be symptomatic of why there's a little bit of disjointedness at times? Yeah, I think so. Although I, th I thought some of our patterns in the first half were good. I thought we moved the ball well and I thought certainly we created some, some decent chances in the first half. Um, but yeah, when you change six, seven players and you rotate a lot, that's that is symptomatic of it. And I also think um, we've been it's so much pressure in every league game, and we feel that pressure. And I think we're good with that because it raises our intensity level, our focus, um, and then we have to find that kind of tension in the play ourselves a little bit when you get into these games. Um, but we wanted to keep standards. I think you can see we've got a winning habit now, and that's a good place to be at 1-1. We kind of felt like we'd maybe go and win the game. Um, and, and we did so, and I think continuing to win is a really good habit to be in. Yeah, it's the longest consecutive winning run or consecutive run of, of winning games since the September of 2017, which was a, a season where they went to the, the playoff semi-finals in, in League Two. No matter the competition, that is six wins in a row now. And talk to me about the importance of momentum. Yeah, I think we've said it always, it's about trying to gain momentum and, and picking up points when you do so. Um, we're, we're in that place now, like you say, with six wins in a row and now we've got a really important home game against Barnet next where we want to try and make it seven and continue that um, and just keep pushing. You know, you see a lot of teams around us are, are also in good momentum in the, in the league. So um, it's so important that whilst we're playing well, we're getting results as well because I think it's not only the results that are coming, I think our performances have been excellent. Uh, you mentioned the goal already just in passing, but it's, it's such a good goal. It feels like we should come back to it. That's making the coaching show real, right? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> We've had a few this season, you know, even in the last couple of weeks. The, the goal against South End and the um, one of them against Wrexham, you know, the, the top top quality goals I think, and uh, the, the pattern for the penalty I mean against Wrexham, and um, we, we're scoring some really really good goals, um, opening teams up, and that one for me, the, the movement and the runs off the ball, and the fact that Vinny squares it for Eli to to put in, I think is high class goal. So yeah, we, we're really happy when we score those sort of goals where there's lots of combination and players involved, and it's what we're working hard on. Uh, Joel Taylor back in the mix today for the first time since the 11th of December. Um, he's been missing for, for quite a while. I think it was illness for a time, um, yeah. but he's back amongst it now. Um, where does he sort of stand in the, the midst of the shake-up of, of the players getting into the starting 11? 
Yeah, I mean, I think jo Joel's been good. Um, but it, like you say, he's had a period out, missed a few sessions, had to come back, and then uh, a little bit of a disjointed Christmas period for him. But he needs to work hard to get back in now. You know, Chicks has played left wing back for a, a time when he was out. Connor Parsons played there. Both have done a good job, and that's the competition. So um, it's just for, for anybody that's been out to work extremely hard. You know, now you've got. Dion is slowly getting back, Jim O'Brien will start to come back, but they have to earn their spot back and, and work hard in training every day and I think that competition's healthy. Is that the case they're still returning to fitness, Jim and Dion, or, or are they, no, so they're, yeah, they're still they're, working towards Yeah, them. they're still working towards, they're not ready yet. Um, but, you know, once they get fit and they get into training, you know, we're six on a bounce now, so you have to force your way back in and that, that's done with hard work on the training, taking your opportunity when it comes and I like that we've got some competition there and good players that are are off hungry to get back in. Uh, Anthony Patterson, is he due back at the club in the next few days or so? Yeah, apparently so. Uh, I expect oh. him back on Monday, but, you know, Sunderland played a game today. I, don't, I think they drew 1-1, but I haven't seen... Uh, he was on the bench. He was on the bench. I saw he was on the bench. But, I mean, we have to see how the keepers have returned with COVID and um, check that there's no problems there. And, and I'm, I'm very much hopeful that he's with us Monday. Um, and I feel like this is probably going to be a question I have to ask now every time I speak to you until uh, January the 31st. Uh, any more offers for any of those good, talented footballers uh, of yours? No, no no more offers. It's gone very quiet and that's how we like it. You turned your phone off, didn't you? Yeah, I turned my phone off. Yeah. Excellent. Well done today. Thanks for your time. Thank you.